Welcome to Life Forever Fit. My name is Angela and I'm so excited that you came to work out with me today. It is a no impact workout, therefore no jumping. The equipment you need today is two dumbbells at five pounds each, that's it. Also two balls, I have a mini exercise ball here and a regular size balance ball. And also make sure that you have a bench against the wall, preferably. And if you don't have a bench like mine here, go ahead and use a chair. In the descriptions below, you will find links to all this equipment that I use here in my workouts. The structure of the workout is a warm up, two main blocks of work, stretches at the end, and at the very end, I'll give you a couple tips on how you can move forward with your fitness journey. So stay tuned to the end. Let's get started with the warm up. You will need your five pound dumbbells very, very soon, so have them nearby. Your first movement is squats with arm swings. So lift your arms up and then drop hips as you drop your arms. So sit down like you were gonna sit down on a chair. Throughout the entire squatting here, make sure that you keep your heels very, very firm on the floor. All right. Now, arms up, hold, bring them to the waist, step out, reset, step out, reset. So you're still squatting, but we're just using a little bit of laterals here so that your warm up gets you going in all directions. There we go. Awesome. Stand, arms up, knees up, and up, and up, and up, as you pull down, pull down, yes, keep alternating sides, lifting that knee as high as possible. Good. Now make sure you have move forward. You want to reach down the floor and crawl into a plank. If you want to bring your knees down to the floor, yes, and then come up again. Let's try that again. Knees down to the floor, or maybe not. There we go. Good one. Okay. Stand, bend over, and open up one arm to the side. Open up the other arm. Keep alternating sides. Good. Alrighty. One more on each side. Lovely. Now, go ahead and grab your two dumbbells. We will do very similar moves, but adding the dumbbells will just get your heart rate a little harder. And we'll get your heart rate up. That's what we want. Very good. Squat and press. Squat and press. Alrighty, so still, bring those hips down. Like there was a chair behind you, keep your heels very firmly on the floor. Good. Now, join your legs slightly, step out and press, other side and press, side and press. You got this. Alrighty. Just a bit more. One more on each side. Good. Stand tall, hold the dumbbells up, pull down arms, lift your knee, alternating sides. Good. And go a little faster. Ah, oh, yeah, my heart rate is going where I want it. I feel it by my breathing. Good job. Now, dumbbells on the floor. Walk back. Walk out towards your dumbbells. Grab a dumbbell and lift. Grab the other one and lift. And then crawl back in. Shall we do one more? Really quick, 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 quick. Go and roll, yes. Okay, now, come on in, come closer to the dumbbells, grab the dumbbells, arms are hanging, and twist. Gentle here. Now that you have dumbbells on your arm, on your hands, it feels just a little bit more tight on the back. One more on each side. Very well done, that was your warm up. Let's get ready for block one. You no longer need your dumbbells, but go ahead and grab your mini exercise ball. Bring it up above your head, feet directly under your hips. Step out into a squat, reset. Other side, reset. Here we go. Good. Give me another four, three, two, 
Now listen up. Ball on your left, down to the right, switch, down to the left, switch, right, switch, yeah. One more on each side. Good. Hold it. Arms up. You're going to step out with your right side, left arm with the ball. For one. And two. Good. And three. Four. Step out carefully. Give me another four. Three. Two. One. Other side. Here we go for eight. Seven. Six. Five. Last four. Good. Three. Two. One. Arms up. Take a breather. And we go back to that initial movement. Switching balls from side to side. Opening your legs every time to a different direction. Good job. Yes, and all the squatting is getting your heart rate up, 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 isn't it? Good for you. Two more. And time. Ball up here, listen up. Ball on your left, left leg goes back. And give me another three. And two. And one, now still same side. Bring your arm across. Good. Three, two, and one. Other side. Just the leg. Alrighty, let me turn a little bit so you can see better. Okay. Give me another four. Three, two, and one. Very good. Ball is up. Side to side. And squat. And squat. Oh yeah, not much break here. No break at all. We want that heart rate going up and up. So stay with me. Alrighty, we're gonna go one more round Whew, of these exercises so nothing will be new here to finish up block one. Okay, come along, come along. Two more. And time. Arm up, hold, left side, Right leg, out and in, out and in, good job, out and in, Whew. four more, four, three, two, other side, go, to the left, to the left, right on, four more, four, three, two, one, perfect. Arms up, ready? Squatting to the side with a little ball touch. Maybe right there by your ankle, yeah? If you can't reach that deep, no worries. Work with that range of motion that's there today. And keep coming back to the workout constantly and you will see improvement in your flexibility. There we go. Give me two more, please. There we go. And time. Arms up, left side, left leg. Go, out and in. Out, yeah, let's do that cross arm right away. Good job, give me four, three, two, and one. Other side, go for eight. Yes, seven, six, Five, last four, four, and three, good job, and time, lovely, that was your mini ball, bender ball workout in the books. Let's get ready for block two. You will need that bench, preferably against the wall, and you will also need your balance ball. Sounds good? Four exercises, two rounds. The first round, I'm gonna give a whole minute on each exercise so we can figure things out well, all right? So face the bench, bring your hands on the bench and step back holding a plank. Now watch which leg starts first. Right leg steps in and left. Then go back with the right, back with the left. Twist to the right, 
twist to the left. Do the same thing, other side. Left, right, left, right. Then twist to the left, twist to the right. Let's do that a little faster. Right, left, twist, and twist. Left, right, left, right. To the left and to the right. Now continue doing that or make it a little harder, coming straight to the floor. Right, left, twist, and twist. Start with the left, twist, and twist. Okay, really quick, come on. Give me a right and a left. Come on, let's finish up. Left, to make it even. To the left and to the right. Good job, come up. Grab your ball. Make sure you have room to scoot forward. It kind of shifts forward, so make sure your room is clear. Okay, sit on the ball and come forward until the ball is supporting your lower back. All right, your hips should be somewhat free here, so they can't be too much there right here. That's what we want. Feet are firm on the floor. Bring your hands behind your head. Come back and forward. Back and forward. There we go. Getting some abs done. <laughs> Nothing else will happen from here. No, just get used to um, the jiggliness that the ball creates. All right. And being supported by a somewhat unstable surface hmm, creates a little bit of havoc deep inside your, your, <laughs> your spine to maintain you in place. So there we go. Yeah, and by now, ooh, there's that little, yeah, fiery sensation creeping up right there by your belly button, right? Give me one more, please, and time. Well done. Good. Now, back to exercise one. However, this time, you're going to change things up a little bit. Watch how my legs go. They come to the side, to the side, plank. Rotate and rotate. Again, side side rotate and rotate this time it doesn't matter which leg initiates i'm always initiating with what looks the right side for you and going from there good good go again all the way hey i'm gonna give you a chance to maybe advance a bit if you like it on the chair keep working Rotate and rotate. Good. Yeah. Creating that inner core, spinal stretch and strength. Good. I think one more round here for me. Twist and twist. Good. Okay. Come up, get your ball. One more exercise here. Sit at the ball again. Now your crunches will look slightly different, so pay attention here. Lower back supported, hands gently behind your head, firm your heels on the floor. As you come up, twist to the right, twist to the left, and go again, and again. Now listen up, go a little deeper here. If that feels good on your lower back, Ooh, this extension here <laughs> is a good one to do. Good for flexibility training. But if that feels very, very tight, just stay minimal here. Alrighty. And the ball gives that, pro it propels you up, right? Gives you a little bit of a, of a <laughs> encouragement here. I'm trying to find a good word for it. There we go. One more on this side and one more on that one. Very good. Okay. Good. That was your four exercises. We're going to go one more time. This time, it's your choice whether you use bench or not. I'm going to do one round on the bench and start with the right side. Go. Right, left, right, left. Twist with the right twist to the left. Now let's go left, right, left, right. Twist to the left, twist to the right. Okay, I'm going down to the floor. Go right, left, 
right, left. And twist. Left, right, left, right. Left and right. Okay. Keep alternating sides. Good. Go. Out and out. Good. One more. Right here. And time. Good job. Okay. To the ball we go again. Alrighty. Right in the middle of the ball. Sit. Come forward. So your hips need to be fairly loose, but your lower back well supported. All right, go. Tilt back and forward. Back and forward. There we go. Oh, that burning sensation right there below the ribs, just above the belly button. Oh, it just comes so sooner the second time around. <laughs> Okay, come on, 15 seconds to go. Hmm? Lovely. One more. And use that one to sit up. Okay, let's go to the bench again. Bench on our bench. I'm gonna do one round on the bench and then I'm gonna go hands on the floor. Okay, legs back. This time we tap to the side, ready? Set and go. Tap, tap, again. We twist and we twist. Go again. Tap and tap, twist and twist. Alrighty, keep using the bench if you like that. Go, tap and tap, twist and twist. You got this. Beautiful work in the obliques here. Yep. Go and go. Oh, yeah, it's a beautiful work, but it's hard. Yeah. <sighs> Takes a lot of control. So if you need that bench so that your lower back doesn't get too fussy, go for it, okay? Another twist here and here. Good, okay. Last one. Grab the ball. <sighs> Scoot right into it. Let's crunch and twist. Go. All the way back, if that feels good. Come up and twist. Up, twist to the other side. Mm-hmm. Okay. Already, you got 20 seconds in this work. Okie dokie. Breathe in, and out, yeah, one more on each side, and time, good one, okay, since you're seated on the ball, let's just do our final stretches here, okay, keep your feet very solid on the floor, shoulders up, back and down, creating a very good posture, and take a deep breath. Good. Arms up, reach, and then open up towards the right side and bring the top of your hand against your knee. Very good, reset that. Breathe in and do that same twist going towards the left. Good, one more on each side. And push against the knee and go a little further. Oh, that always feels so good. Good. Next, feet forward, extend your legs and keep your heels dug to the floor and your toes very much upright. Okay, here, start land, um, landing forward and yes, you will feel a huge stretch in the back of your legs. If that comes for you right now, go ahead and hold on to your toes. Okay. Alrighty, now start shifting on the ball a little bit, side to side. That always feels very good on the lower back. And 
and time on that one good now open your legs just a bit wider and bring the ball a bit more sit more in the middle of the ball so pinch the ball with your heels and then rotate a couple times to one side let's say four three two one and then another four three two and one good job come up to standing roll the ball forward and land your hands on the ball well done okay good job let me know what you think about this workout a low impact to no impact workouts are great it's not it's excellent for the beginners but it's not just for the beginners anybody advanced in fitness will benefit from this too so share this workout with someone special in your life that you know needs a no impact workout and uh, let's build up our community here because jumping and uh, going a bit crazy so to say is not for everybody my channel offers that type of workouts too so if you want more yes you will find it now if you are absolutely a no jumper and you know that that is like never gonna be a possibility well then stick with these workouts they are gonna come your way often now what else could you be doing hey you could be adding treadmill walks outdoor walks you could be adding some of my other workouts I have a couple other low impact um, or very modified options in the workout for you and I have links in the descriptions below and you could take a look at those specific workouts as well okay now make sure that you're consistent do you have to work out every single day of the week I don't think so there is days when we just want to be a bit lazy and sleep in and lay back so don't need to be obsessed over a workout every single day but I would say between three times a week to four times a week would be ideal okay so make sure you're constantly coming back to the channel here or visiting your gym these workouts can be done at your house or this equipment here can be found at your gym as well I'm not quite sure about the bender ball not all gyms have these so if i was you i would just go ahead and purchase your own and just take it along with you and it's nice and small really not a big deal right so that's an option there for you Alrighty, thank you so much please send me a comment on this uh, video today i totally like to hear from you i try my best to answer and if you have any questions let's discuss okay until soon bye